Hey guys, so we are at the Yuli Sugar Mill Ruins. Um, it's a, an attraction out here. It's a... Okay guys, I've got a little bit of history here for you. Um, this David Levy Uli, 1810 to 1886, uh, built Florida's first state, oh, cross state railroad. Um, he was the state's first US Senator, etc., etc. He, um, he built this sugar mill. His sugar mill began operations in 1849 during the Civil War, he supplied Confederates with sugar, syrup, and molasses. Federal raiders burned the Yuli home May 29, 1864, but the mill and plantation escaped destruction. And that's what you're seeing here. So uh, as you can tell, there was slavery here with the pictures of slaves and, and all that. Imagine the people that laid those stones right there were uh, probably slaves. So, we'll see. Oh, it looks like there's some more information over here. Removing the juice from the cane. The fresh cut cane was mashed between large rotating iron cylinders and the juice was collected in vats. The crushed cane called bagus was piled and used along with wood as fuel to fire the furnaces. The juice was piped from here to the cooking kettles. Yep. So this thing basically squeezed the juice from the sugar cane. Boom, that happened. The piston was connected to the arm at the far end of the frame by driving rod and slide. Their movement made the arm rotate, turning the flywheel shaft, the flywheel, the small gear at the left, which turned the large gear mounted just beyond. The large gear shaft connected by square sleeve to the top roller shaft turned the top roller. The small top roller gear turned the small gear on each of the bottom rollers, a small water pump. Located on the far side of the frame, just beyond the cylinder, operated off driving rod and slide pumped water from the wells to the boiler. Cool beans. So that like did stuff and stuff like that. Well, it's still cloudy here in Florida. Sorry there's no sun in the Sunshine State. Battery kettle, syrup kettle, flame bowl kettle, proper kettle. And then the grand kettle at the end. Kettles in operation. The juice flowed from the settling vats into the Grand, the largest of five kettles built into which the furnace was fired. The chimney draft pulled down the heat from the fire through the furnace to heat other kettles. The heated juice was hand dipped from the larger to the smaller kettle and ended as syrup in the battery the smallest and hottest. Here it reached the strike sugar stage. It was then labeled into a, a trough and poured into large wooden vats where sugar crystals began to form as it cooled. After hardening, it was spaded into slices, carried into small tubs to the perjury or curing room and packed in hogsheads, wooden barrels. Cool. 
This is a picture of the perjury. They probably had all the barrels stacked over here or something. Hey guys, so um, I'm still right next to the plantation where they, um, where they process the sugar. And there's this little uh, canal here. It's probably gators here. And uh, there's a bar right next to it. And if I could describe the smell, it's, it smells like stagnant, stinky water. But it's cool. Hey guys, so I found this really interesting tree here. I don't know if it's some sort of pine or what, but it's got these vines growing up the side of it. It's kind of cool. If anybody knows what kind of tree that is, let me know. Check out this tree really cool as you guys can tell I've got a thing for trees and all the Spanish moss hanging definitely in the south okay guys so check out what I found orange trees look at this and there's oranges all over the floor Piggish and disgusting. Here's some cool mushrooms growing off the side of that tree. They almost look like flowers, they're so white. I want to get one of these oranges though. Look at these orange trees are everywhere. Take this job and shove it. Okay, let's see if one falls right on my head. No, they're pretty on there. 